our booth with Dror Gill, and uh, I challenged him to explain to me what he was trying to do, and it's a, a real interesting product. What, what is the product first we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about uh, JPEG Mini, a product that we have for Mac. Okay, so you ran up to me in the aisle here and said, I can compress a photo and have it be full res, and I said, no, it's not possible. Right. I asked you, do you believe I can get a 10 megabyte photo down to 1 megabyte, and you won't be able to see the difference between them? And you said no, but after you saw the demo, you said yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid I have to admit it. So the technology is called JPEG Mini, that, and what, it's a compression algorithm that you guys have a proprietary co compression algorithm? It's an optimizing technology for JPEGs. So the output of our technology is standard JPEGs. We take a JPEG file at the input, we optimize it, and we output a JPEG that is exactly the same resolution and the same quality as the original, but much farther much smaller file size. So the advantage of this is you can share them online and it doesn't take forever to get them up there? Exactly. And also you can save a lot of hard drive space on your computer and that's especially important if you have an SSD that is expensive and limited in its capacity. So when you're done with JPEG Mini, does that make a proprietary file? No, it's make a fully standard JPEG file that you can use anywhere. We even retain all of the metadata of the original file. It's all right. Well, let's take a look at these two photos that you've got on screen here. This is an original photo, which is 11 megabytes, and I've zoomed in to actual size so you can see all of the pixels. The second one is the JPEG mini photo, which is just one megabyte, and again, you can see all of the pixels. And as I switch between them, you won't be able to see any difference between the original photo and the photo after JPEG mini optimization. We retain that is, the that is really, really amazing. That looks fantastic. So show us the, uh, the interface on the web, how that, how that looks. We actually developed a Mac app that lets you optimize any photo that you want with JPEG Mini technology. It's very simple to use. You just drag a folder onto the app, and it goes out and optimizes all of the photos in that folder one by one. And it shows you here how, much, how many megabytes you saved, and up here, how many gigabytes you saved so far since installing the application. That's, uh, for those just listening, it's a really cool looking interface. It's got uh, dials and, and files and images moving up and down, all kinds of stuff going. It's very, very pretty. So now when that's done, what, it, what is that? That's just compressing them on my disk, right? They're compressing on your, on your disk, and we feel so confident about the technology that each photo, after we optimize it, we erase the original. We actually ah! replacing. Ah, don't be scared. It's completely safe. It's completely safe. I might run a backup right before I do you, that, but you uh, might you might want to try a folder copy a copy of a folder before you go into the whole process. So you just you just took a, a picture of your firstborn child being born. Would you trust it? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I've optimized all of my children's photos with JPEG Mini, and it works great. And it can save you like seventy five percent. The photos are a quarter of the original size when they end up on your disk. Who wouldn't want to use like 70 gigabytes of free space on go. these small uh, MacBook Airs with SSDs? There you you go. can go on and on and you don't have to replace your model. So now I think you showed me that this will uh, upload to the web and you get a link you can share with people? Right. We also implemented JPEG Mini in a mobile app called Beamer. And this lets you share full resolution photos from your iPhone very fast. You get them as a link that you can view on any web browser. So show, show the web browser view again that you were showing us a minute ago. Okay. This is, a web, this is a web browser view. This is our uh, JPEG Mini website. I'm going to get an email with a Beamer magazine that somebody sent to me with photos that we're taking at Macworld. I just click on the link, and then I get a web presentation that shows me all of these photos. Now, each photo is full resolution, 8 megapixels coming from the iPhone. You can click on the photo, zoom it to full screen, and then download the HD version. So that isn't anything to do with you having the app on this uh, Mac, what we just saw there. That was actually anybody who gets that link, cross-platform, Windows, Linux, Mac, it works on all of them. Right. Anybody who gets the links can view the, the, the photos, and they are in full resolution. If I do here view actual size, I can see all of the pixels of the original photo just as I took them on my iPhone. I'm afraid that looks pretty darn good. I think you made a, uh, a believer out of me, Drawer. So uh, JPEG Mini is a, a Mac app, and how much does it cost? It costs $19.99 on the App Store, and it is also available on B8H Photo Video on their online store. Oh, great. And then the Beamer app for the iPhone, how much is that? Beamer is completely free, usage is unlimited, and you don't even have to register to use the app. So we don't have to pay for storage on your site either? Exactly. Wow, you must believe in that small storage. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dror. Thank you.